so quick, welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Oasis. But, as always, it is Sunday, because it comes every week. <laughs> which means Super Oasis Sunday, which means BAM! Face cam and a full hour of uncut Minecraft gameplay. And if you're wondering if you guys could see behind me in real life in my face cam, I actually bought some, I guess it's called, um, I don't know if this is called insulation, but it's supposed to cancel out some sound. And I'm gonna put it all over my walls just so my mic can sound better. Um, but I thought it'd be fun to kind of encase myself around it. Um, so I'm really curious to see if there's a different uh, change in quality in the mic that I'm using. And one of you guys actually noticed uh, like a water dripping sound in the previous episode. That is my cat's water. So my real cat. Navi and Link. So they actually have a little water thing that drips like a little water faucet so that they can, like, I guess, it's like shoots the water up so they can lick it. So I guess they feel more like they're in the wild and it's not, it kind of circulates the water, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. So that's the noise that you guys hear. It sounds like I'm peeing constantly, but I promise you I'm not. So <laughs> let's go ahead and get started. And okay, a lot of, I have not organized, wow. I'm so sloppy with everything. I really want to organize my chest, but I just don't have time for it. Um, so there's a couple things I want to do today. Um, one is I really want to see what happens when I give Ham Ham some paper, because you guys are telling me something would happen. Hi, Ham Ham. Hello. Ah! Okay, wait. Oh, look at him. He's on my head. Oh my God, Ham Ham is adorable. His tail is wagging. He's happy. I'm scared to walk through this door because what if I hurt him? Here we go. I didn't hurt him. Yay. So there's Ham Ham. Let me take my helmet off so you can get a better look at <gasps> Isn't that adorable? Oh, little Ham Ham. The world from high, high above it must be so scary. Okay, so how do I get him off? Get, get off my head now. There we go. There we go. There you go, Ham Ham. You got to experience the world from a giant's perspective. I've always wondered. I have a really tiny dog. Her name is Ruby. And I also have two cats. You guys probably, if you're new to my channel, don't know of Ruby. But um, she is with my mom. And she's a tiny little Yorkshire Terrier. And I always think, how would it, how would it be in their eyes? Like, how do we look to them? We probably look really scary um, and tall. And actually, Red, my husband, puts Link, our cat, on his head and walks on his shoulders and walks around. <laughs> and he, his eyes get, like, super big. He's just like, oh, the world is full of things. Um, okay, anyways, why am I talking about this? What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to get... Um, some essence of the chicken and I or you know what before I do that before I do this a lot of you guys were telling me that um, you heard Navi so I was reading not Navi not Navi Navi is there I mean Luna my cat the cat that's been missing one of you guys said she was in the bathroom which she's not uh, we'll just go ahead and leave this door open. Oh, look, the sad little, sad little house. Um, some of you guys said that you heard, or actually, let me go over here. Some of you guys said that you seen her behind, Jesus! St who was making that noise? Not you guys. It sounds like they're dying. Are they dying? Oh, no! Taffy! Taffy, no! Taffy. Taffy could have died. Oh, how how did that happen? Did Taffy try to climb? How did that happen, Taffy? That was scary. You sounded scary. I didn't like that noise. Get away from here. My Zors. Don't do that again. I need to trim those. Or you know what? I need to actually just place something down there. There. Will that help it? Will that prevent it from doing that? Okay, that scared the crap out of me. So, some of you guys said that you actually seen Luna 
in Chibi's pen. She's not in her pen. You guys said that you've seen her behind the pen. So let's let's search. We're searching for Luna. Luna. Where's my kitty cat? She ran away. And actually, I need to cover that. Uh, so it's getting dark, but I'm searching for Luna. Ow! Oh, I was like, don't tell me that horse is hurting itself again. Okay, so I don't see Luna. I'm, st I'm looking for the name also, like how we can see Chibi's name through there. Um, so here's kimchi. Oh, we need to get some more apples. Um, Okay, so I haven't seen her. I still don't see the name. She could have wandered. Uh, and some of you guys were saying that you've seen her in my daughter's pond, which it doesn't look like she's here either. Um, and uh, some of you guys also said that you see, or you heard her cries, which I went back and listened to the video. Um, and I've heard a faint meow, um, but I don't know if it was, I don't know if it was hers. I couldn't really make it out. It kind of sounded like my real cat's meow. Uh, someone also actually said that she's behind the cow pen. So I'm gonna need to, oh, it's a turtle. You know what, I wanna give, is there two turtles? I wanna give the turtle a sugar cane so he can be mine forever. He can be mine forever. Don't you want to be mine forever? Okay, <laughs> I want to get a turtle and I want to put him up. That's like creepy, creepy girlfriend stare. You all know that meme. Um, so I'm gonna continue looking. I'm gonna continue looking for my kitty Luna. Oh, someone actually said that she's behind the waterfall. So let's just go ahead and, whoop. hello, Mr. Pig. Let's jump over here and see if she's behind the waterfall. This is behind the waterfall. I don't see her. I haven't seen any monsters, which is weird. So this is my old, old, old first, uh, first, I spent my first night here uh, when I first started the series. So this was my first little house and this is how I discovered my oasis. Um, it's pretty cool to see how things have grown. Um, okay, so she's not there. Um, so let's go check the very last place where you guys said that you've seen her. Let's check. I'm trying to look at uh, the names. Not there. Oh, look, there's a... We need to still get the hearts. I have to get two more Essence of Light, and then we'll be able to transform our horse into a fairy horse. So one of you guys corrected me. It's like, I'm a something. I could, I just couldn't remember how to pronounce it. All right. And some of you guys, ow, said that you heard Navi, this fairy right here again. I'm waiting, listening. I don't hear her. I don't hear her. I hear the music. Maybe I'll have to put my volume up. Um, but I like to keep it both 50-50. Okay, so some of you guys said that you heard Navi. So let's let's actually do this. My birds went into the nether again. Let's do this. I am going to lower the music and we're gonna turn the sound up. So it may get a little bit loud. Um, you know what I'm gonna do though? I'm gonna sleep because I did do a little bit of work uh, up to this top area right there, but I didn't put any lights or any torches. So. Uh, I don't want there to be any monsters up there. Um, so I did uh, change my game modes here. Uh, I went into creative and tried to fly around and find Navi and honestly, I couldn't find her. But I'm searching with you guys because uh, I wanna just put those rumors to sleep if she is alive, dead or alive. Let's try to listen for her. I don't hear any meows. Do you think she came up here? Do you think she could have climbed up the water? Oh, there's a horse in there. Why is he not burning? So I don't hear any meows. 
go up this way. So I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of work that I did. Um, I couldn't get the fossils to work and I think what happened is I didn't install the mods. So I asked uh, one of my friends, Steven, to install them for me and he, had, he installed all of them. Uh, 20, 28 mods, which is crazy. And I don't know which version of the fossil archaeology mod that he installed, but I cannot get the fossils to plant, to lay down. Um, and I also tried it on cobblestone, so it's not just the grass. So, one of you guys suggested that I make this area for my fairy horse. So, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Uh, encase it in glass so it's gonna be like a glass dome and I'm gonna put my fairy horse this is where my fairy horse is gonna stay and actually it'd be kind of cool to have a, a glass dome and then I can have like a platform that has a door uh, so the horse can't escape so it has a door right here and I can um, come out and then just fly away on my horse how cool would that be? Um, and I can also dye the horse depending on which color dye I want to. So the, the, the fairy horse is white. It's a white fairy horse and um, if you give it a dye, it'll, it'll dye that color. I'm thinking of doing like a lavender color, a light purple. I'm trying to listen for my cat. Do you guys hear? Like seriously, I read the comments and I get my hopes up. I get my hopes up. I I think, you know, I go back, watch the video, think I hear the cat, and then I'm just disappointed. Um, maybe she's down there. Maybe she fell down. I don't know. Honestly, I don't know how she can get down there because it's pretty much all encased. So, I think it's safe to say I, I mean, I've searched for her. I, I mean, when, once I get a fairy horse, I can fly and try to search for her, but I think it's safe to say that she's gone. I have, we have to have a little burial service with, for her. I, I, I don't want to admit it either. I don't want her to be dead either, but there's just a time when you gotta let go. Or I may just be missing. I mean, I do overlook things a lot. So, um, yeah, maybe I'm overlooking her, but if you guys do see her this episode, feel free to leave a comment. It's going to be the ever-searching mission for Luna. Um, so, what I'm going to do right now is I'm actually going to make some essence of chicken so we can get our um, Dilophosaurus to grow. And I forgot how to make the essence of chicken. I know it's super easy. Essence of chicken. Okay, so we just need all these glass. We need to get these this chicken broth. And I need raw chicken for that. So I'm gonna have to kill a chicken with, um, let's kill a chicken. Did I get that raw chicken from him? Yes, we did. Oh, give me those eggs. Nope, nope, do not escape. Don't escape or I'll kill you. Okay, so um, I'm gonna go up, make some essence of, of the chicken and see if I can give that to my Dilophosaurus. Let's close that. Oh wait, I've seen a name somewhere. Just want to make sure that I'm not missing my kitty, my kitty cat, poor little Luna. Okay, so uh, how many, I think it's nine. What? My mouse is acting weird. Okay, so I need a bucket to put the chicken in. I think my buckets are up here. Why is my mouse acting so weird? That's weird. Okay, uh, do I not have a bucket? Mr. Bucket. Do you guys remember Mr. Bucket? That commercial was terrible. I'm not gonna repeat what it says, but Mr. Bucket was an old, old toy where it's just a bucket and I think like little balls would pop out of his head and you'd have to like put the ball, put him in his mouth to fill the bucket back up. So the theme song for that was terrible. I mean, who was in charge of that marketing group? I honestly, don't know but I'm gonna go ahead and we are gonna we're gonna go ahead and make ourselves an essence of chicken so I believe it's just one chicken there we go chicken broth and I'm gonna save that bucket for later let's grab this there we go do I have any more stuff so I'm I have a bunch of glass that I'm gonna turn into uh, the, the little glass panes 
and uh, here's some more glass. And I do want to decorate the top of the um, the thing for my fairy horse. I want to decorate that uh, with glowstone. So no more torches. I'm gonna keep these fish with me just in case, and I'm gonna just throw away that axe because it's pretty crappy. And we can put some eggs in the fridge. I do still need to have a, a episode where we cook up a bunch of food. I just have a lot of food. I don't really need to make a ton of food. Should I go get that turtle? I think it's, I don't know if it's sugar lumps or just the normal sugars. Okay, so my chicken broth should be ready. There it is. And we gotta fill this all with bottles all around. There we go. So we have essence of the chicon. Essence of the chicon. And let's go ahead and go up. And I I think I did put some fossils in. Whoa, luggage. I did put some fossils. Um, darn. I was hoping that I can get uh, some more, some more, uh, Eggs, no, DNA. You know what we can do too, this episode. I have a bunch of DNA mammoths, but uh, I have the embryo of a saber tooth cat, and I think I'm, well, I'm definitely gonna separate it from my mammoth. Uh, the saber tooth cat will probably kill its mother, the sheep that it comes out of, which is gonna be sad, a sad, sad day. Uh, but let's go ahead and just put this stuff away. Um, and I can put some more skulls around. There's my bucket of milk. Um, okay. So, I'm gonna go see if I can feed our Dilophosaurus an essence of the chicken. Whoa. Why am I going down? Okay. And, uh, then I will get started on our thing up there. And actually, I really, I still need the hearts. Some of you guys were leaving comments telling me to cheat. Um, telling me to spawn in the hearts, um, or even get them, why am I lagging like this? Or even get them off camera, which is another good idea to get them off camera, but it's just, it just takes so long, uh, to get them. And look, this guy did not even eat the pig that I supplied him. Whoa! Oh, wow. I was gonna say, how did he get out of the cage? Is he out? No. No, 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 no. He can't be. Why does that keep happening? You're like just glitching, right? Get back in there. Get back in there. Get back in there. Pushing dinos around. I thought I seen a name. Still, I'm on the lookout for my cat. Okay, so I'm gonna eat some bread. I'm gonna take a little munch right now. And um, I'm gonna go uh, check up Actually, I don't know how old this dino is yet. I know that they can mate, so they can actually breed. Um, I don't know if they have to be full grown and I don't know if I have to uh, start off, like feed them with something. Wow, there's a lot of bugs around here. Okay, so this dino is six days old and the other one is already full grown. Um, brown sugar and key lime. And there's our stegosaurus. So what I'm gonna do, let's see. Can I check the Dinopedia with this little dude? I know, pig, you are crazy. I don't even know how he's, how he's growing. How is he growing? He can, he can attack me from right here, can't he? Let's live life on the wild side. Oh, I can't even check him with my Dinopedia, can I? Is he watching me? Here, let's give him up. I'm scared. Is he hostile right now? Hmm. I'm curious. If I can, I can jump on this. That's weird. Mr. Pig, get out. Cause I'm not supposed to be able to jump on this, but that's really weird. Let's actually, he's not, he's not hostile towards us. So Get away from the fence so I can check. Oh, hey! He's three days old and untamed. 30 out of 20 and he's hungry. Ooh. Can I give him an essence of the chicken? I don't know if I can. And I don't know why he's not eating. I mean, we have a pig for him. I know, I know you. And we have these other pigs ready to go for him, so. I don't know what's going on with that, but he's still growing. He's growing healthy. 
He's not eating. Um, I don't know how that's possible, but he's doing it. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I really, really, really want a freaking fairy horse. I need how many hearts do I need? I think I need the undead one. What I can do is I could spend the night out and we can just go kill things. There's a lot of hostile things out, but you know what? If I'm going to do that, I have to, well, clear some of my inventory. And I need to make another gold sword because the werewolves, I feel like, I wonder if I could, um, let's see, they're hostile mobs. If I could just lower the frequency of the werewolves because, um, they're annoying. Let's just lower this. Let's lower it to two. The, the wraiths are at two. The ogres are at two. Well, this one's at three. Wild wolves. Let's just spawn them down. So maybe we can even get some endermans to spawn if we just lower the spawn rate. I have the hiccups. I'm sorry. Okay. Wow. Range 12. Oh, that's fine. Okay. So rats. Yeah. Let's lower the rats. And we'll leave these. I like the golems. Though the cube the cube dudes are called golems. And you know what? You guys were telling me how to fight them. So uh oh wait, I should despawn or lower up the hell rat too. So uh I know how to kill them now. They have a weak spot. They have a sweet spot that I'm supposed to hit. So you know what? Let's go ahead. Close close these blinds. We don't want anybody peeking in. And I am gonna before, you know what? No, I'm not going to shower just yet. I was going to take a bath, but we're not going to do that. We're going to just go out and have a good night of killing. <laughs> then once we have an awesome night of killing things, I didn't even make my gold sword. I should make another one just because I know I'm going to run into, I have to run into those werewolves. I hate them. I hate them a lot. It's because the gold swords are crappy too. So let's see, uh, oh, I need wood. Here's my wood sticks, this'll work. Okay, so let's make ourselves some sticks. I only need a little bit. And um, let's make a gold sword. I guess we can make two of them, because we have enough for two. We'll just stack them like this. I don't need all these torches. And I'm gonna take my fish with me just in case. I, I don't think, oh wait close that. We don't want creepers peeking in on us at night. Um, I don't think cats spawn at night. So, um, yeah, one of you guys, uh, I was just reminded when I see my mammoth, one of you guys left a comment to put the tusks on the mammoth. So I, I don't know what is going on, but the mammoth that can wear the tusk is from the more creeps and weirdos mod. Okay, so I'm going to kill this guy. Let's, let's go out and kill some horses and some bad dudes. Um, so, yes, the mammoths are... The one that I have is from the... Fo oh, dude! We just got... Oh my gosh. We just got two hearts. Two hearts of the undead. That is so awesome! Alright, so I'm... You know what? I'm just going to go and spend the night killing stuff. Oh, he's not attacking me. The scorpion isn't attacking, so he should be okay. So drop some more stuff for me, guys. Give me more heart. Please give me more heart. Ooh, ooh. Are you are you laughing at me? Red is, Red is in here laughing at me. He's laughing at this nerd voice. I actually got this voice from... Some of you guys may know... Uh, oh, now he's attacking me. Look at all these baby slimes, and I'm poisoned. Gosh. Uh, some of you guys may know... Uh, Mr. Sark, uh, he has this voice that's called Little One Sixty, and it's like a nerd voice, and I just like doing it. <laughs> I did it to my mom today, and like she just started laughing. She doesn't really know that it's like a, a nerd voice, like you know, like making fun of a stereotypical nerd. Okay, these guys are the ones that dropped the undead, or the the hearts of the undead. Um, but yeah, I like talking in nerd voice sometimes. Um, <laughs> stop laughing. 
funny. I have no room in my inventory. God. Okay. Well, you know what I'm going to do? I don't think I'm going to need my axe. I'm going to... I don't need the chicken. I don't need the fossil. I don't even know why I didn't clear that out before. But I did get myself uh, two hearts of the undead, which is basically all that I need uh, for... No, that's all the undead because I need one essence of light for both horses. So I need two hearts of each kind. So, okay, we're going to put the hearts in the freezer um, because we don't want them to go bad on us. And I'm going to make some room in my inventory. Well, my, I'm just like super, wait, do I have a heart in here? I'm super unorganized. Like really, really unorganized. But that's okay. I'm going to just drop off some stuff in here. I have slimes. I don't need sticks. We're going to put that glass away. Put that away. Put the bone away. I'm not going to go mining anytime. I'm, I don't think I'm going to use these swords, really. So I should just kind of store them in here. I'm never going to take them out again. Let's put some torches in here as well. That's a lot of torches. And this one as well. And don't need you. Don't need you. I'll save you for later. And save you. And there we go. Okay, awesome. So now we have a lot of space. I'm about to get a ton of XP. And you know what? I haven't enchanted stuff in a while. Oh, it's one of the golems. Oh, but I don't want him to, I don't want him to destroy stuff. I got kind of close. I don't want him to destroy the stuff that I've built. So I don't want to attack him near um, my house because he will, he will pull up the ground beneath us and ruin it. Uh, I was talking about something before and I totally forgot. I don't know if, I don't know what, kind, if those horses, the skeleton horses drop. I know these, these dudes, the flying ones, the bat horses drop heart of darkness, but I don't know what the skeletons one drop. And I think all I need are the fire ones. Which, I think I may just spawn those in, honestly. It took me a long time to find one flippin' heart. I killed so many, it just wasn't even funny. Get out of here, stupid rat. I killed a lot, and I think I'm gonna spawn, I'm gonna try to spawn some of those in because, oh wow, pack of wolves. No, no wolves, no, no. Back off, back off. I guess they only spawn in packs. So yeah, I just don't feel like going to the nether and having to find those hearts. I just wanted to have a simple trip out and about uh, at night and just kill the things that are in this normal world. And actually, the, the moon is already setting. Hmm. That's a lot. You know what? Let's just go over here. We'll kill. We'll kill some more horses. Oh, hello. Oh, geez. You just destroyed the whole land, didn't you? I don't like that. Don't destroy- Ow! What? No! Don't destroy my land. That's like a risky thing about having ogres spawn in your world and those golems. They will freaking ruin your land that you work so hard on. What? I heard slimes. Was it from you? Get out of here, little little one. Oh, there's another one. Get! Get! You're dead. I got two, um, I ex- I leveled twice. Wait, is this the bat? Yes, this is the bat horse. Give me a heart. Give me your heart. I don't want the ogre destroying. Yes! He gave me two! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's go kill this ogre. Get! 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 get. Don't raise your arms. I don't want him destroying my daughter's crops because that's all I have left of her. It's the only memory I have left. My daughter, Lena. I wish that I could have her back. Actually, some of you guys were saying, I did get a, a few tweets that uh, the fossil archeology span mod has updated. So I'm not sure, don't quote me on that. I looked, but all I found, all I was able to find was updates, like when the, the mod just first came out. So it was one point, Five, 1.5.2 is the newer version, I think. The newest version of Minecraft. Some of you guys were saying it's fully updated and I will have to talk to Steven about that because I really want to update um, 
Wait. Oh, there's a rat. Um, right. Get out of here. Yeah, you die. Where'd, where'd my XP go? Uh, okay, so all these things are burning. Let's see if uh, they'll drop anything for us. Will you drop anything for me? Come on. Come on. Drop a heart. No. Okay, let's go check all of the other horses in the area that are already burning. Maybe they'll have a heart for us. Then I don't have to kill every single one of them. I did see one over here. Was there one over here that burnt? Okay, so, okay, this was a good night. All I need are the hearts of fire and I get those from the fire horses in the nether. And I think I'm just gonna spawn those in. I got two hearts of darkness and two hearts of the undead. That's a good night. I didn't have to cheat and spawn those in, but I mean, I feel less guilty about just spawning in one type of the heart, one type of hearts, because it's just a pain to go back to the nether and all of that stuff. Um, okay, I'm trying to figure out where I should put my saber tooth. I think we could put them over here. So I need to lead. Now we need to lead ourselves. I'm gonna use the sheep, so I'm gonna have to get some. Oh, I was talking about the mammoth. So. This mammoth is totally different from the mammoth that I can put on the, um, the tusk thingies. I'll try it. Just, uh, I mean, I don't know. Who knows? It might work. I don't know. I don't think it will, but, uh, I can put tusks on a mammoth and they will actually, do I have it upstairs? Um, they will help me mine. That's the idea. But the mammoth that I have is from the uh, fossil archaeology mod, the mammoth that you can, oh, I just pressed something and froze the game. What did I do? Okay, and we're back. I think I, I don't even know what I pressed, but uh, I crashed it. So actually I wouldn't be, oh, you know what? So what I pressed was nine and that's the number for the inventory that the tusks are in. So we may have a bug. Let me try it again. Warning, I might crash again. I didn't crash. Good, good, okay. Well, the mammoth that I have in my cage is from the fossil archeology span mod, and the mammoth that you can put tusks on are from the more creatures mod. So they're two different types of mammoths. And I think I figured out why I'm not able to find any mammoths in that snowy area by my house. Um, so the mammoths are the same as the elephants in the more creatures and the mammoths will spawn only in snow biomes, but you would think that's a snow biome over there that I have. Uh, I think what is happening since I have the plenty of biomes, it may not be recognizing it as a snow biome because it's part of plenty of biomes. So I went on, I went out, I flew and looked for a snow biome and I didn't find any around me. So yeah, we may be out of luck with that. So let's just go ahead and humor, I'll humor you guys and try to put these tests on this dude. Do, 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 not working. So it's a different type of mammoth. I wish that's a, I really wanted a mammoth really early on in the episode, the season of Oasis at the season. A series this isn't a season um but i yeah so it's a totally different mod it's a different type of mammoth and i've been trying to figure out why i can't get that mammoth for the longest time and it just clicked and it just hit me and i was like maybe because it's i have plenty of biomes that's probably why all right so what i'm gonna do i have a lot of slime um what am i doing I can go ahead and make my heart or my essence. Uh, oh, we're going to inject a pig or a uh, sheep. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna get a saber a saber cat. And uh, what do sheep like? Sheep like wheat. All right. So we're going to lure a sheep, just one, into or let's get our Dinopedia too because we can check the progress. I think I left it upstairs, dang it. You know what, now, this reminds me, having these different stairs. I've never lived 
in a, um, wait, where is my Dinopedia? I've never lived in a two-story house until previously two months, two months ago? Has it been really two months since I've moved into this new place? Um, so yeah, I've never lived in a two-story house until a couple months ago and, um, it happens to me all the time. I'll go downstairs and be like, oh man, I forgot something. Go back up, then I have to come back down and be like, dang it, I forgot it upstairs again. And sometimes I'll even get to a point where I'm just like, it's not important. I'm not going back up. <laughs> I'm not going back up those stairs. Okay, so let's go ahead and lure one little sheep. Come on, who's gonna be the guinea sheep? Okay, stop crowding the door. Stop it. Stop crowding the door. Move away. Move away. Who's going to be the chosen one? Or who's going to escape? You are the lucky contestant. Come on down. Oh, no. He's trying to make a break for it. Where are you going? Where are you going? Come on down. You're the lucky number one contestant. You are going to be sacrificed. Um, so I'm going to put you in this cage. And we are going to impregnate you, Mr. Sheep. Come on. I said Mr. Sheep. So you males are gonna feel our pain as a woman and I'm gonna make you pregnant and you're gonna give birth to a saber tooth. Yeah, that wasn't painful, right? That wasn't painful, just wait. Pain is coming when you give birth to that giant saber cat. Actually, I don't know if saber cats are tameable. It might attack me. I'm curious. I'm gonna check. I'm gonna pull this up really quickly because that would be, that would be terrible. So let me just pull this up. Um, more creature, no, 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 fossil, fossil archae, oops. Archeology span mod, there you go. And actually, I don't think it's updated because the first one that comes up is a 1.3.2, but if it is updated, then that means I can have Minecraft comes alive again and we can try to find ourselves a new husband and start a new family again. Um, okay, so the saber cat, where are you? I see the mammoths. Saber tooth cat. Okay, so I click show. So we're gonna we're gonna let that load. Is it loading? I don't know why this page is super slow on my browser. Why are you so slow? It is loading. Show. Oh, there it goes. Okay. They're mostly like a wolf. Uh, while it's born, it's untamed. I need milk to tame a baby and meat for an adult. Feeding rotten flesh can delay their growth. So I'm gonna, you know what? I wanna go get some milk. So I'm gonna go get a, a jar, a glass of milk, and we're gonna tame the baby. And I'm actually thinking of giving it uh, rotten flesh to delay its growth because I'm sure they look adorable when they're babies. Sometimes I wish that, uh, where am I going? I think I have my rotten flesh up here. Yeah, no, I have some in my inventory. Um, I wish sometimes that my, you know, animals in real life, like, uh, oh, that's what I was doing. I have the milk up there. Well, you know what? I'll just get this one and grab some from a cow. I wish that Certain animals, like my kitties uh, and my dog, all animals when they're babies are freaking adorable. But they're still cute when they're older, but they're not as cute. And sometimes I wish that I can just give my animals rotten flesh and they will delay their growth. That's normal, right? Minecraft says it's normal. Okay, so we're gonna wait on this uh, little sheep to give birth to a saber tooth. Uh, What's that noise? Is, oh, that's from the elephant. That's from Chibi. Um, so yeah, I really want to try to fly around and see if I could find myself a snow biome. I was actually curious of even removing plenty of biomes, like saving the world, removing plenty of biomes, getting a mammoth, then putting the mammoth, um, I don't know if that would work though like put the mammoth in my cage, tame it, whatever, and then put plenty of biomes back in. So I don't know if that would work. <gasps> it's born, the baby is born. 
and how did you how did that pain how did that feel oh hello little baby here milk oh he loves me okay i'm gonna give you rotten flesh because i think you're you should stay cute all the time wait how do i get you to there you go here it's not taking rotten flesh that's weird feeding rotten flesh can delay their growth well it's not working out so we can have him sit are you gonna follow me no you're just gonna stay in there so this is my tamed saber cat i don't know what they eat um we're just gonna leave the sheep in there it'll be kind of just like a spider like the black widows when black widows give birth to their or when their eggs hatch um the spiders eat the mom they eat the black widow and that's just the way of life so you mr sheep yep you're a mister you are going to be eaten by the saber cat maybe if you're lucky he won't have you for dinner so um i now uh, i'm just looking for a cat i'm just gonna go run around and look for a cat so what i'm gonna do now is i'm actually gonna go build the um the area for my fairy is there is that the proper name for it i'm pretty sure it's a white fairy horse that's what it says on the forum but someone oh my cat's following me my baby kitty come on little kitty come back to your i don't want him to follow me okay so i'm gonna have to figure out how i can control him it doesn't say anything else in the description um, because I don't want him to keep following me around, right? My baby Sabertooth needs to stay in his pen. He's teleporting to me like a wolf, like a, like a dog. So I think if I have him sit, well, we don't even have to keep that open. Where is he? Teleport to me. Teleport to me. Where'd you go, kitty? Where'd he go? There you are. Okay, come on. Come on. Come on, there you go. Okay, so you sit. You're gonna sit. Aw, it's like he's looking out in the distance, just wondering, waiting, watching. What can be out there? What is out there for me? Here, I want you to turn around. Look at me. Look at me, and then you can sit. There you go. Good, good saber cat. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and go to sleep. And then I'm gonna work on my, uh, I'm gonna work on the area for our fairy cat. I think I do have enough glass. Let's go ahead and I have all of my, you know what, I'm gonna put my heart of darkness down here so that it does not spoil or get rotten. Actually, I don't have to spawn in a heart of fire. You know why? Because I have one right here and I already have an essence of fire so I don't have to spawn anything in and I have an essence of darkness so I'm gonna keep all of the essences together in the freezer let's take this turkey out and uh, we don't need to leave the raw pork chop in there we're, we're just gonna go ahead and put this we'll put it in a, okay do not put your raw meats in a cabinet that is not not safe how did I get obsidian oh I think it was probably a drop all right so uh, I, I kind of just want to make these essences right. Right meow. And I think I have... If I could give my essence of the chicken to that other dino, I'd have a lot of bottles, but I can't. I can't do that. So I think I might just have to make some more. I'm still going to do a cooking episode, but I really want to look up all the recipes before I attempt to do that so that I don't waste your time uh, trying to look up different recipes on how to cook and we'll have just a little cooking episode where I make a bunch of yummy treats okay in Minecraft of course so let's go ahead and eat some food some bread load up on those carbs which I'm trying to avoid right now and I actually had some glass in here somewhere where was it I seen you here you are we have a lot of glass I have a ton of glass and I'm gonna make uh, some more glasses right here. Okay, so with the Heart of Fire, I'm gonna need flames. 
And actually, I have some zombie flesh, which is good, so we don't have to spawn that in. Um, okay, so it's like this. No. This on the bottom, the heart in the center, and this element on top. So there is our essence of fire. And for the undead, there we go. Two of the undead. And the darkness, darkness I have to spawn that in because um, we're, we're really... Uh, lacking on Enderman this playthrough. So just because of all of the mobs that we have, all the hostile mobs. So we're gonna spawn those in and I'm gonna go ahead and create uh, Essence of Darkness. So there's two of those. And I actually have a lot. I have four Essence of Darkness already. We can make an Essence of Light if I wanted to. I can, wait, is that in the freezer? Why are you in the freezer, Melon? What are you doing there, Melon? Okay, so I'm gonna just go ahead and create the Essence of Light because we're super close to getting ourselves a fairy horse. So here we go. Essence of Light, Essence of Light. And actually, I think the horses, um, the fairy horse to, to heal is given an Essence of Light as well. So we gotta make sure that our horse doesn't take damage because I don't have a bunch of essence of light laying around. Actually, what I'm gonna do is I am going to look this up really quick as well, just to double check, to make sure that I don't screw anything up when I transform the horse. So more creatures. Uh, Minecraft 1.5.2, I wish that I can update, but I can't because of my fossil archeology span mod. That's the one that's holding me back. It's holding me back, man. Okay, so uh, with the horses, let's see. There's like a whole thing on horses. We're just taking a little break. You can take a little snack break. Go to the restroom if you need to. Um, I'm looking up stuff for the horses. Where the heck are the horses? There's so many things here. Here they are, okay, show. All right, so now I can get down to. Okay, so there's a whole, uh, there's a whole under horses. There's a whole new thing that I haven't even touched on yet, um, and those are amulets. So amulets, it says amulets are used to capture horses. The horses will drop any saddle, armor, or inventory before being captured in the amulet. Uh, only certain horses can be trapped in amulets. But I don't get, why would you want to trap a horse in an amulet? So let me just scroll down a bit. Um, okay, no cat. Navi, if, okay. I'm okay with my cat laying on my desk, but when she's like cleaning herself in the gross area, I just don't want to see that. Especially when I'm playing a game. I'm trying to play a game here, cat. Let me blow my, <laughs> she's just looking at me like, this is normal. I'm cleaning myself. Why don't you shower like me? Okay, so I'm actually going to make armor for my horse also. And you know what? We're going to go crazy. We're going to, we're going to, I'm going to make a diamond armor for my fairy horse because I don't want it to die. That's why, because I've spent so much time. Um, okay, so it says uh, Pegasus and unicorns can breed a white fairy horse. However, both will disappear in the process. You need to give them both essence of light to get them ready for mating. Also, essence of light is used, is used to heal. Um, so we can also give uh, the dye and it will turn them any color. So I think I'm going to do a lilac. So what do I need? I need to make purple and then add bone meal to that. So I think I do have lefties. Um, actually, I have the light blue already. So blue and red make purple. So actually, I think I can just get some red dye from the roses here. So let's make a purple. And I only need one. Uh, and we're going to add, let's just get bone meal from this. And we're going to make this a, no, why didn't that work? Why didn't that work? Wait, there is a lighter purple, isn't it? No, I guess there's not. We can do purple or we can do, hmm. Pink, or you know what? A cyan would be cool. A cyan color would be really cool. How do I make cyan? I've never had to make that color. See why? Cyan dye. I'm so 
happy I have this freaking mod. Okay, so it's just the cactus green and the lapis. Um, let's see. So do I have cactus green? I have cactus cactus upstairs uh, on the top in my little farm, but I'm sure I have cactus green somewhere. I have to. I know I used it for something else. Well, here's cactus. We can just go put that in the furnace. Let's check to see if any other fossils. Nope. We did get another ancient sword, which I have not, I don't use because uh, it hurts me a little bit. It hurts me every time I use it just a little bit. So I'm gonna get rid of this. We'll put this in here as well. I don't need that obsidian. I'll just put this here. Oop. Okay. Um, so we're gonna, we're gonna go and put this green cactus dye. That's what I need. So we're going to put it in the furnace. And we're going to make a cyan horse. So I'm pretty happy. Cyan's a pretty color. I could check to see what other colors I think would be pretty. But I think cyan is different, out of the norm. I would do pink, but I mean, I have pink sheep already. So I'm going to do something different. All right, so let's see. Let's get cyan. Sweet, so our cyan dye is ready for our horse. And actually that'll look really cool because we're gonna dye him cyan. And the armor is that color as well, I think. So hopefully it'll look good. And if I don't like it, hopefully I can put the, I can dye it back by using white bone meal. I don't know if it's the same as sheep, but I've been talking a lot. Let me just see, how's this recording doing? We are getting close. We are getting close and actually what I think I'm gonna do just to spare you guys the boredom of watching me build the um, the I guess shed for my fairy horse, I'm gonna just go ahead and work on that uh, off camera. So uh, what I'm gonna do now is we're gonna go mate the other two horses. And we're gonna we're gonna get our fairy our white fairy horse. So I have to get an apple. So while those horses are mating, let me grab let me grab my axe. Where is my freaking axe? I think I left it upstairs. I'm gonna put this glass away because I don't need it. And I'm gonna grab a saddle too. I have a saddle upstairs. I'm gonna make the armor. So we're gonna be super. We're gonna be all prepared for this moment that I've been waiting for forever. Um, my ax, that's what I need. Where is it? There it is. So we're gonna chop down some trees and try to get some apples. Um, the armor. So I'm gonna have to look up that recipe right now. And I have a lot of diamonds, so let's see. Armor, diamond horse, crystal horse. Whoa, I like the crystal one. Is that only for special horses? Can I get that? It shows the diamond horse armor, but it doesn't show the crystal one. Who's the, what's the crystal one for? It looks the same. And I, I feel like the crystal one uses less diamonds, to be honest. Um, I don't know what the durability is on that, but I like the way it looks better. So let's just go ahead, grab our diamonds, and I'm going to create this. How was it? I think it was like this. And then something like that. Oh, there we go. Crystal horse armor. So hopefully we can put that on our horse. Hopefully it's not the wrong type of armor because I have so many different mods installed. All right, so what I'm gonna need to do now is we're gonna need to prepare our horses. Oh, I need to give Let's grab the essence of light so we don't have to come back in here. And we're gonna give that to our horses to breed. We're gonna have to move out the other horses. I need an I need an apple. What? How is that guy there? I need an apple so that we can move the other horses. Um Oh kitty cat! That's not my cat, right? No, you're not my cat. I had a cat like you once, twice, maybe three times. 
You're probably better off without me. Okay. So I'm gonna take a... Uh, we're gonna take... Move, kitty! Move! Kitty is stronger than the horse. Okay, kitty. Get out of the way. Come on. Get out of the way. Kitty's trying to chase out. Nope. Okay, the horses are escaping. Get... No. 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 Get... Okay. Well, you know what? We'll be back for them. I'm gonna put kimchi in... Let's, let's just put kimchi in this one down here. My gosh. Ugh. We'll put kimchi down here along with her mate. That's, this cat is not going to stop following me now. I don't want you. You're better off without me. You're going to end up dead if I take you in my arms. But I'll give you lots of love. You may end up running away or getting low. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This horse has jumped crazy. Okay. So there's Z and Kimchi, and uh, I need to find an apple so I can tame that Zorse over there, and we can take him with our other other Zorses. And I need an apple. I think I need an. Oh yes, okay, we got an apple. I'm gonna need another apple too. Anyways, oh yeah, multiple apples. Woo, woo. I need a lot of apples for lots of things. Okay, so let's just go ahead and replant these trees. There we go. And let's go tame this horse. I don't know what I'm gonna name him. Uh, what are all of my horses names? I don't even know what it's, this is gonna be transformed into. So maybe I can name it. Let's see. I I did go to this place called Scoops over the weekend, and I got uh, it's an ice cream place. So I got to see a bunch of different flavors, and I think I'm gonna name this one. I got a. It was like a water... Red, what's that name for the water-based ice cream? The what? The water-based ice cream. Sorbet. Sorbet? Sorbet. Sorbet. How do you spell that? S-O-U-R-B-E-T. -S yeah. Sorbet. That's a cute name. I barely found out about that ice cream today. And I'm, I love it. Um, I'm not really a big fan of dairy product. I just don't like milk. I like cheese, but I don't like milk. Um, I like yogurt, some yogurts, but I'm just not really a big fan of ice cream anymore. Like the the dairy, the one that's made out of dairy. I don't know if that's normal. I mean, it's kind of it feels too heavy for me. Okay. Anyways, enough about uh, ice cream. Let's get to Maiden. So I'm gonna take. We're gonna take uh, cream down first. Can I get out? Get, can I get out? Why can't I get out? Let's break this glass. Okay, so this this cage is not going to really come in handy anymore because we're gonna make a beautiful case for our other horse. Does this horse glide? It does, and it doesn't even have wings. I didn't even get to ride my unicorn around. Look guys, freaking, Freaking stars. Oh my god, that is awesome. Oh my gosh. I love this. Look at that. I just want to run around. I hope that my fairy horse... If my fairy horse doesn't uh, leave stars behind, I'm gonna get another unicorn. You best believe it. I am. Alright, so you stay right there. Oh wow, look guys. We have, we have two cats following us. That one looks just like Luna. I want to, I want to tame her. I want to tame it, can I? No, no. We're not focusing on that right now. We will get a cat sometime. But they can't interfere with the breeding process, so. All right, let's go up and get coffee. All right, coffee. You ready? You ready for some action? Actually, you're not going to get any action because you're just going to morph into each other. And um, you're going to disappear. So this is, this is a really, really big responsibility, a really big step for you guys. Go away, cat. Go away. Come on. Leave him alone. Leave him alone. Okay. I'm going to have to like lure them away. You know what I can do? I can actually just put Navi away. Oops. What am I doing? Oh, do I have the fam guide with me? No, I don't have the fam guide with me, so I can't just put her away. So let's, is that it? Wow. Look at that. There's more cats over here, guys. It's just teasing me. 
teasing me. I want the cats. Okay, I'm gonna have to run away. Run away! Don't follow me. Stay over there. We'll get cats in a later episode. But are you two pretties ready to breed? I am excited. You're excited. Let's get to business. All right, so they're gonna breed. They're gonna become one. And they're both gonna disappear. So say goodbye to coffee and cream. And uh, we'll actually see um, how long that takes. So actually, I wish that I didn't name that horse Sorbet because now I wanna name my fairy horse Sorbet. Can I just rename? <laughs> Can I just rename it? Or you know what, better yet, I will let you guys decide and leave in the comment section below what name you think I should name uh, my fairy horse. I'm giving them their space so they can breed, but I won't tame it uh, at this episode um, just so you guys can uh, put give me your input on what you guys think I should name it. You know what also is a cool name too? Gelato, Gelato. I like sorbet better. Um, uh, but yeah, remember, keep it uh, desserts or ice cream or sweets themed. I'm like super excited. I want to just keep going back and checking on them. Are they done yet? Are they done? No, no, they're not done. They're doing their thing. Is there a horse behind there? Are you like creeping? No, there isn't. Okay, I'm, I'm being the creeper. I'm just like watching, waiting for something to happen. Uh, all right, what can I do in the meantime? I gotta like keep my mind occupied while they're doing the thing. Um, what I can do is I can actually give, I think if I give, we can uh, give, we can give a, another Zorse a, uh, a essence and turn them into a different type of horse. That's what we can do. Wait, I need to, my cat. You need to move your little face, kitty cat. I know. I know. Oh, hey, my mic is like not even faced towards me. It's bad. Is that better? Testing. I should have checked that before. So, um, yeah, uh, I've seen a couple comments. Some of you guys were uh, worried that I wasn't gonna post an episode today because uh, E3 is well, actually, my E3 week starts tomorrow, Monday. And uh, I, you know, it didn't even cross my mind. Oasis is <clears throat> always going to be posted unless unless it's an emergency. Um, that's that's my promise to you guys. So um, and I try to get it up timely. I'm filming this one the night before. It's actually 1.30 in the morning on Sunday. Uh, so I didn't go out tonight. Saturday night, just because uh, I, don't, I don't have to go out every weekend. But um, recording this for you guys early so it gets up, and um, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just trying to distract myself. Um, yeah, so that I know some of you guys are in the UK and you're ahead of me by 12 hours. So hopefully I'll get this up early for you guys. Okay, so I can actually transform a, a horse into I forgot which one it transforms into, but let's go ahead and give one of these Zorses. Oh, where am I going? Let's give a Zors a, a Essence of Darkness. Let's give Taffy. There you go, Taffy. Yummy, yummy Essence of Darkness. So now you're a bat horse. And I own a bat horse now. So let's fly away. Let's fly up here. And the bat horse is the one that turns into the Pegasus. So um, we can leave Taffy up there. And I'll, I'll have the bat horse. We can keep a bat horse. I kind of want to have a horse of every single breed. That'd be really cool. That's going to be a lot of horses for me to breed. Let's go down and check to see if our horses have mated um, and became one. Let's check it out. I think they have. Oh my god. Ah! <laughs> oh my god, it's so awesome. So this is our white 
fairy horse. It is a baby, guys. Uh, so I'm not going to tame it. I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here, right here. And uh, leave in the comment section below what you guys would like me to name my white fairy horse. Remember, I'm going to dye it cyan, which is like a bluish green color. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have an awesome day. And I'm really happy because I think he does leave a trail of stars or something behind. So that makes me super happy. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Cupquake, and I will see you all later. Bye!